Hello everyone, you are welcome back to the Crafty Bee. Please, if this is your first time tuning in to my channel, you are welcome. Please subscribe, like and share my videos. To my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make this trending pleated run tube and cap with this puffy design attached to it. The material needed is the scuba fabric that is not the thick one, it's a little bit light and then we need a fiber. This fiber can be found where they sell sewing materials and also it can be found where they sell carpentry things. We need the, we need a stretch ruler, we need a chalk, we need a scissors, pins, measuring tape and a matching thread with a needle and we need this tube to stop the fiber in the fabric. This tube cap has three parts, the base, the band and the design on top. So I have already cut the base. The measurements for the base, you need to measure your hair circumference plus one inch. So my hair circumference is 23 inches, sorry, and I added one inch. So the base is 24 inches by 12 inches. The width is 24 inches and then the length is 12 inches. I cut two pieces for the base. Because the fabric is light, I cut one for the lining and then one for the base and when you want to cut along the width which is the hair circumference you should you should cut it on the stretchy part this for the band for the pleats and this measure almost 26 inches by 12 inches I made it 26 inches because after pleating, the fabric will be a bit shorter than the actual length. So if it's more, you trim it out when you attach it on the base. And then you have the band for the puffy design on top. The band for the puffy design measures 45 and a half inches and then 8 inches by length. After the design, if there's excess fabric, you cut it up. It's good to have extra fabric than having less fabric, which will not be enough for the puffy design on top. So this is for the design. The very first thing I will be working on is the band of the tuber. What I'm doing now is working on the pleats for the tuber. I'm going to fold, fold one and a half inch in to have a clean base to work on the pleats and I'm going to pin it. While creating your pleats, make sure that the fold is going to cover on the first line. So I have finished pinning the one and a half inch inside. So it has a clean base to start with. Now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew from this end to this end and I'll be back to show you. Okay guys, I have finished sewing the edge of the band. So the next thing is, while creating the pleats, make sure that the fold is going to cover this line. I'll, I'm going to continue folding till I get my four pleats. And and I will take it to my machine to sew. And I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to pleat all like this. As you can see, I'm going to go like this till I get my four pleats. Then I'll take it to my machine and sew and come back and show you guys. So guys, this is how the pleat look like. The last pleat is going to show the line outside. Look at the first one. The second one is covered. But the last one is going to show because this side is the one that is going to be attached to the 
tube and base. So now I'm going to fold this into two and then notch the middle. So I'm going to put the pleat aside. So this is the base now. It's two pieces, one for the base and then one also for the lining because the scuba fabric is a bit light. It's not that thick one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it into two each and notch the middle part. So I'm going to put one aside and then take this. This is the good side. The good side is facing up and then the wrong side is facing down. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert the pleat in between the two pieces. This is the this is the wrong side. So the pleat, I'm going to face the right side together with the right side like this. Then I'm going to bring the second piece. The second piece, this is the wrong side, this is the right side. And I'm going to cover the pleat with the right side together, facing the right side, and the wrong side is up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my pins and pin it from one end to this end. So I'm going to continue pin it, uh, pin it all from here, and I'm going to leave a gap in between here and continue all the way here. And I'll use this gap I'm going to leave here to turn the turban inside out. So I'm going to sew it all here, sew it all along and leave the gap here. I'll leave about a few inches here, about three and a half inches to turn it inside out. And I'll be back. So guys, this is how my turban cap is looking like. As you can see, I couldn't do the four pleats. I ended up doing three pleats. So what I'm going to do next is to close this gap. I'll, I'll go and stitch on it like this to close the gap. And then after I'll fold this silver gap into two like this. Fold it in half like this. And I'm going to stitch it from this end up to this end and sew up to this end. And I'll be back to show you the next step. So guys, this is the turban cap now. This is how it looks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give it a running stitch all the way to here and then to end here. Just to give it that goddess effect behind your turban cap. So I'm going to do the running stitches starting from below the pleats all the way here, then I'll end it here. Guys, if you are just joining us for the first time, please do me a favor to subscribe to my channel. In this channel, I always upload videos on every Thursdays and Sundays and also share to support my channel. Thank you. So, this is how my silver cap is looking like. You see the, the goddess effect at the back? This is the front. And this is the back. This is how it came out. This is the front. This is the side. And then this is the back. This is how the back look like. So now I'm going to work on the, the puffy design on top. So this is the band for the puffy design on top of the turban cap. You proceed to fold it into two like this. This is the good side and this is the wrong side. I'm going to sew along the edges for the end. Then I'll come back and show you the next step. I stitch it 
and I proceed and turn it inside out. So this is the good side. I have the sun part in the middle. You this end now, we are going to mark two inches here. And this two inches is just the starting point for stopping the fiber. So this these two inches will serve as the finishing for the puffy design. So from the two inches now, I'm going to mark four inches. This two inches is just the starting point. This one will need it when we finish everything. I can choose to start stuffing the fiber from this side, but because it's a long strap, I want to start it from here and then continue from this side. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lock this place just to make a gather stitch here. I'm going to stop the fiber here like so. Make sure that the uh, stitch like that line is in the middle. I'm going to lock it on the where I mark the two inches line. I'm going to do a running stitch. So you secure it like this. You can choose to tie it like this. You still lock it with the needle and thread. You secure it by tying it and then here. Now coming to this side where I left the thread and needle, I'm going to secure it also. So now I'm going to proceed to the next one. I'm going to mark four inches again. This time, I'm going to start stuffing it from this side. I'm going to push it with this uh, tube I have. So this is the second of the design. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to do the remaining one off camera. So I have come to the end of the puffy side. This is the last one I'm doing and I marked the four inches there already. But as you are stuffing it, make sure that you are checking it on your dummy's head or your own head to make sure that it's okay, the size is okay before you continue doing it. So this is the last piece now I'm stuffing. So this is the finishing look of the design, the perfect design on top. So this is where we are going to be needing these ends. So you you put the wrong side and wrong side facing each other. This is the crown look. And this, the good side is inside. As you can see, this is the wrong side where the line is. So I'm going to pin I'm going to take my pin and I'm going to take it to my machine 
and sew this place and then cut the excess fabric and come back and show it. So guys, this is how it look. This is how the crown look. So now, I cut a piece of fabric measuring 5 inches by 3 inches. I fold it, I sew it with half an inch and I'm going to use it to cover the end. I'm going to sew it on the wrong side like this and after I'll turn it to the right side and then show you. So guys, this is the finishing look of the turban cap with the puffy design on top. Detachable, you can leave it as it is detachable or you can attach it to this cap like this one by one. So this is the front, this is the side, and this is the back look. So beautiful. Try it at home and send me the picture on my Facebook page, Be Creative. We have come to the end of today's video. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share my videos, and if you have any questions for me, feel free to drop it on the comment section. I'm always there to answer your questions. See you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank you.